everyone, it's grocery haul day. This is week before vacation grocery haul. So you'll see this sometime before we leave for vacation. I don't remember where in the video order it's gonna appear, but this is what we buy. It's hard for me to put it like on the screen and all that, but I have like a meal plan of easy meals, one pot meals, easy meals, easy cleanup meals, so that this week as we're getting ready to go on vacation, it's easy cleanup. So this is what before vacation meal plan looks like. I'm gonna turn around and show you picked up from Aldi's, Walmart, Food City, yeah, in Food City. We didn't get any groceries at Dollar Tree. So all these Walmart and Food City. Here is a quick pan of everything. Everything facing this way is Walmart and Fussy Puppy right here to join us. But everything facing this way is going to be Walmart. Picked up two containers of cantaloupe, one large container of watermelon, and one large container of pineapple for some fresh fruit. We also picked up two bottles of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, the honey barbecue, and the hickory and brown sugar. For drinks for Matt this week, we have the Zero Sugar A&W, the Coke Zero, the Dr. Pepper Zero, and this is a pre-travel stock up. I wanted to go ahead and get it this week in case they don't have it next week. They actually had the Cherry Vanilla Coke Zeros in stock. He only uses the small bottles when we travel, and since we saw that they had the Cherry Vanilla specifically, I am 100%, I'm pretty sure, yeah, right there it is, Cherry Vanilla. We went ahead and picked it up for next week. And there's a couple more things you'll see as we go that are part of it. The fresh fruit is part of our meal plan for Sunday morning. Again, I want to do fresh fruit before we leave. And also you're going to see some orange juice and things like that. And before travel, I like to do as much fresh food as we can because it feels like when we're traveling, fresh fruit and fresh vegetables are kind of like at a minimum. So that'll be for this weekend. And also we're going to be doing for creamer this week. We're just going to do the Hershey's International Delight, the chocolate caramel, just because <laughs> just because when I'm stressed and I'm probably planning and packing is not as much stressful to me but i still wanted chocolate because sometimes it it can get stressful and i like the chocolate just because i know that's not a good reason but that's what it is just trying to be real with you all so i also picked up two containers of the shelf stable orange juice one of these is for matt's breakfast when we go back so what we have done is we actually have enough food planned out to where we do not have to go shopping immediately when we get back We'll be able to have a week of not needing to go shopping and meet when we get back and we'll have groceries for seven days part of that is he will have shelf stable orange juice to go with two or three of his breakfast when we get back the other one of these is for his uh, breakfast for this week so it's all planned out to where it'll work that way also hormel pepperoni is practically shelf stable we divide up in the smaller containers some of it will be for bento boxes for this week we might do some if it's still open into next week or we might prep some of it for after we get back from vacation. We also have two boxes of Propels, the Kiwi Strawberry and the Berry. One of those are going with us. The other one is for Matt's work for this week. No, one's for Matt's work for the uh, week before vacation, one's for the week after vacation. The Mio's are also for before and after. So we have the Tropical Fusion and the Backwards Bottle that eventually will say Black Cherry on it. So that is it for just the Walmart portion. Let's swing this way and everything now facing on this side is going to be Aldi's. So for a quick dessert for our Friday night, we try to only do dessert one night a week unless we have birthdays. We always do dessert on Fridays. It's like our one day a week to do dessert. So they had these back in stock. Last time we got them, they didn't have the ones with the filling in the middle. This time they did. There's vanilla caramel and vanilla fudge. We're also picked up a 32 ounce Chobani strawberry. The girls and I will split this for breakfast pre-travel week. Again, the grapes are for Sunday morning breakfast, just like big fruit variety for Sunday morning. Two frozen bags of broccoli. All these has the best frozen vegetables and they're under a dollar bag and they're steamable in the microwave. So for me, it may not feel like fresh fruit or fresh vegetable to you, but like for me, like having something this that tastes this fresh from frozen is actually pretty good. So we picked up one bag of the broccoli, the just broccoli, one bag of the California medley, which is broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. Those will be add-ons to other meals through this week to try to do as much vegetable as we can. So for an easy dinner, the Thursday night before vacation kicks off, we are planning on doing hot dogs, mustard potato salad, and coleslaw. I know that's not fresh food, it's not the best variety, but we wanted something super easy comfort food before we leave, so that's what we picked out. I also have two more lasagnas to go in the freezer. Well, the lasagna is to be frozen for the week when we get back. So our the uh, barbecue season zings are like, it's like not a 
bone it's an it's a not a wing like it's it's shaped like wings but they're actually boneless so i call them a not a wing i don't know what else to call them they also go with pizzas the day that we come back because we're coming back on friday we also have two boxes of the white cheddar and shells that will be for a lunch we'll have bacon and the mac and cheese with one of the steamed vegetables no not with the steamed vegetables we're going to do the uh french style green beans to go with it just to change it up a little bit so uh mac and cheese with bacon with the green beans for lunch we're also doing three boxes of dirty rice because they didn't have any jambalaya this time and dirty rice and jambalaya both are one pot meals one dozen eggs for breakfast, sandwich bread for doing sandwiches probably more than once this week. I normally try to do it only once a week because a lot of carbs, but probably more than once this week. The cheesecake is for a special meal. We have two packs of bacon, one pack of the Nathan's brand hot dogs. Bacon's for a lot of different meals. I already told you Thursday we're doing uh, hot dogs because it's an easy quick meal with easy cleanup. Three packs of the dried mango for dried fruit for this week. One box of protein bars for Matt for his breakfast for the week after we get back. One box of the uh, rounds crackers, like the Ritz style crackers. Yes, my kids actually picked out this original balanced multigrain cereal for their one box of cereal for this week. One container of the salted cashews that's going with us on the trip for a dry food stock up that we're doing. Two boxes of tricolored rotini. We're going to make a pasta salad before we go. One thing of goat cheese will be for a snackish kind of lunch that we're doing one day. We also have cheeses for different lunches and breakfasts. Colby Jack, extra sharp cheddar, mozzarella, and pepper jack. We're also doing, again, more sandwiches this week and more like just having meat roll up with cheese and crackers and stuff. So we're doing ham and we're doing turkey. Two bags of sunflower salad for a lunch. Two bags of the chopped bacon Caesar salad to do salad and baked potatoes. We already had the baked potato, or already had the potatoes. Put them in the air or the not the air fryer. Put them in the instant pot with one cup of chicken stock, or yeah, one cup of chicken stock or a cup of water and a chicken bouillon cube for 11 minutes. Uh, pressure cook them. They're tender. They're perfect and ready to be eaten. We already had the other stuff for making loaded baked potatoes. Cast and vitamin D enriched orange juice for the kids, high pulp for us. We almost always do orange juice and have orange juice in the house, but right before travel, I try to get that vitamin C up as much as we can. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more orange juice this week. Now to swing over to here, everything facing on this side of the table is Food City. One pack of the honey tenders for the kids, two packs of the buffalo style. So one of these will be for Matt and I to split tonight for Pizza Friday. I'll explain the pizzas in a minute, but this is to go with the pizzas for tomorrow for lunch. So we're gonna split one bag tonight and then one bag tomorrow. And those go in the air fryer while these are in the oven. The Craven style pizzas are one of our favorites. They have a white sauce variety. Their crusts are really good. They bake really evenly. So they have become one of our favorites. They also come in thin crust. Um, pizzeria style or rising crust and we like all of them so far so they were buy one get one free so we went ahead and just did four we're gonna do two tonight and then we're gonna do two for lunch tomorrow just to make an easy lunch for a Saturday uh, the kids are talking about doing like a movie party just because something relaxed and we're not gonna do a lot of traveling before the vacation so the kids are talking about wanting to do a movie party so we figured pizza would be something super easy for them to do a movie party and Matt and I to work on last minute details for the trip. So the pizzas we picked out were the white spinach pizza. Again, for me, I really like spinach pizzas, especially if they got a good white sauce and this one does. So that one's more for me, but some of the kids like it too. The other one I picked out was a smokehouse pizza. It has Canadian bacon, Italian sausage, barbecue, bacon, and red onions. We also picked out a Hawaiian style pizza for the kids. Yes, we eat pineapple on pizza in this house, except Matt. Four out of five, recommend it. And we have pizzeria style supreme pizza. And this is, I think it's the only pizzeria style one. Is it the only pizzeria style one? No, these, okay, we didn't get a rising crust. We got three pizzeria styles and one thin crust. It's really good, y'all. I really like them. If you have a chance to try the Craven brand, do, because I really, really like them. I didn't think I would, because I don't like some new brands that are like different versions of off brands, but like, I really like these. Well, speaking of specific brands, we are specifically ballpark fans when it comes to hamburger and hot dog buns. We picked up one pack to go with the hot dogs for Thursday. This thing was coated in ice when I bought it at the store, and now just the time it took me to film all this, 
the ice is melted off the side. There's a black raspberry and there's also an extreme moose tracks. So that's it for our somewhat pre, mostly pre-vacation, couple of vacation things and post-vacation grocery haul. Kind of a couple things here and there. I, if our budget allows it, I try to buy ahead a little bit of the shelf stable stuff ahead of time so that right before vacation we're not spending a good chunk of our money on just the snacks and the food that we're eating in room. So went ahead and took care of all of that. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a couple more travel related shopping, pre-travel shopping videos coming up soon and we hope to see you next time.